Hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Mohamed from General Directorate of Infection Prevention and Control. We will talk in this lecture, inshallah, uh, about the principle and the step of outbreak investigation. Uh, our objective uh, from this lecture, inshallah, we will know uh, the basic epidemiology definition in addition to know uh, the step of the uh, initial investigation of an outbreak or the initial step of investigation of an outbreak and we will talk about the uh, follow-up step uh, of investigation of uh, outbreak and we will end by concluding all the information uh, we need first uh, to know how uh, the disease uh, occur in the host what are the natural history of disease uh, the host uh, first uh, become in the stage of susceptibility then the exposure happen after that uh, the host entering uh, a stage of subclinical disease this uh, stage start to uh, some pathological change in, inside the host uh, once the sign and symptoms uh, start to appear uh, it will enter the stage of clinical disease the uh, typical signs and symptoms of the infection or uh, the disease uh, start to appear so this is the stage uh, of clinical uh, disease and usually uh, in the stage of clinical disease this is the usual time for uh, diagnosing the infection or diagnosing uh, the, uh, the disease after that uh, uh, the outcome of this disease uh, we will call it uh, the stage of uh, recovery or either disability or death uh, it is very important to distinguish between two definitions which is uh, the infection and uh, the colonization uh, if we look to the definition of the infection uh, it is the entry and multiplication of organism in the tissue uh, of the host so we have entry and multiplication uh, the infection may be clinical or subclinical and may not uh, produce identifiable, identifiable uh, disease so uh, maybe uh, they will have clinical and subclinical uh, picture of uh, sinus symptoms and may not produce uh, a disease however it is usually a combined uh, and this is uh, the main point a combined by a measurable host response either through uh, the appearance of specific antibody or through uh, a cell mediated reaction so in the infection uh, there is uh, a host response or host uh, immune uh, response on the other hand uh, colonization definition multiplication of microorganism at the body site without any uh, clinical expression or detected uh, immune reaction so in the colonization we have uh, multiplication of organism uh, in the absence of the uh, clinical uh, sinus symptoms or detected uh, immune uh, response uh, the colonization may or may not be a precursor of uh, infection that mean uh, may progress to uh, infection or may not colonization may be a form of uh, carriage uh, and potential transmission uh, source uh, they can transmit uh, the organism to uh, other uh, person uh, and very important also to know that the commensal we have a different commensal and uh, normal flora which are uh, microorganism uh, usually uh, present uh, inside the body without causing uh, clinical infection uh, timeline for infection and disease very important to know uh, the incubation period what mean by incubation period it is the time from uh, the exposure until the uh, first sign and symptoms uh, appear on the host while the latent period it is the time from the exposure until uh, the host become infectious or capable of transmitting uh, the infection to uh, other host so usually the latent period it is uh, similar or shorter than the incubation uh, period uh, on this example it's uh, reflecting how uh, we identify the incubation period and latent period uh, 
for a chicken box uh, cases we know that the chicken box it is uh, become infectious uh, uh, one to two days uh, before uh, the skin rash appear which is the symptoms and uh, one to two uh, days after the final crop of the blisters uh, have gone so uh, if we identify the latent period uh, it is uh, the time from the exposure until uh, one to two days before the skin rash appear while the incubation period it is the time from uh, the exposure until the skin rash uh, appear the infectious period uh, for the chicken box uh, as example it is starting from uh, one to two days before the skin rash uh, appear and until one to two days after the final crop uh, of blister the symptomatic period which is uh, the period that the patient have the characteristic symptoms of an infection or an disease or a disease what are the case definition the case definition it is a set of uniform criteria used to define uh, a disease for uh, surveillance purpose uh, we have in the outbreak situation three category of uh, case definition we have to know uh, everyone uh, suspected or uh, possible cases we have the clinical sign and symptoms without epidemiological link or uh, laboratory uh, confirmation for uh, the disease or the uh, infection so we have the clinical science symptoms without epidemiological uh, link or laboratory confirmation this is we call it suspected or uh, possible case uh, probable uh, case clinical uh, we have the clinical sign and symptoms with uh, the epidemiological link uh, that the patient have been exposed to a, a confirmed case or eating to the uh, same food staying in the same world or in the same location to a, a confirmed case so this is the probable uh, case the confirmed case it is uh, the diagnosis is confirmed by appropriate laboratory analysis of appropriate uh, specimen with or without the presence of clinical science symptoms or the presence of epidemiological link what are uh, the index case the index case defined uh, the first case among a number of similar cases that are epidemiologically uh, related so if in case of an outbreak if you have uh, multiple cases that are epidemi epidemiologically related so the first case of this uh, case is this is uh, the index case uh, the case finding it is a method of identifying uh, the cases or the patient with uh, health acquired infection through a combination of uh, reviewing the medical record or asking question or gathering uh, the information from uh, the patient caregiver from the healthcare worker from frontline uh, staff so uh, this is all a method for the identifying the cases or uh, the uh, patient so uh, also we have the checking uh, laboratory or uh, the imaging mean meaning checking the uh, patient file and if there is a laboratory result or uh, imaging test have been taken to this uh, patient or other uh, relevant data uh, if available uh, at that time of the outbreak for uh, the level of disease uh, occurrence uh, we have different level for disease occurrence we have sporadic uh, level uh, which is the occasional cases occurring at irregular interval so uh, the cases occasionally uh, identified uh, from irregular uh, interval uh, of time uh, the endemic level which is uh, the persistence occurrence uh, with low to moderate uh, level of occurrence uh, of that disease or that uh, infection so we call it uh, endemic uh, level hyper endemic uh, level uh, it is persistence also uh, occurrence of a disease or infection 
with uh, a high level of uh, occurrence. Uh, the epidemic or outbreak occurs uh, in excess of uh, expected level for a given time uh, period or location. We can define the expected level for uh, the infection or the disease from the uh, continuous surveillance uh, methodology for that infection or that uh, disease. Uh, the pandemic uh, and uh, it is uh, the epidemic spread over. Uh, several countries or uh, contents uh, affecting a large number of uh, population or uh, cases. So uh, we have also uh, recently experienced with a pandemic uh, level, which is uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, and we will have uh, example to uh, explain all of this uh, level uh, clearly. In this uh, lecture, uh, explain how the disease occurrence uh, level uh, looks like the sporadic, as we uh, mentioned, uh, occasional cases at irregular interval. So we have occasional cases and the interval between them is irregular. Uh, the endemic uh, it is persistence uh, low uh, to moderate uh, level of disease uh, occurrence. We have a persistence low to moderate uh, cases and uh, the hyper endemic after uh, endemic which mean uh, persistence also but at uh, a high level uh, disease or uh, cases uh, occurrence. Uh, the last one the uh, epidemic uh, it is excess uh, cases uh, above the expected uh, level uh, of that uh, disease uh, at a given time period. Uh, this is the exercise how to uh, identify the level of disease uh, occurrence. Uh, the first one, we have 22 cases of legionellosis occurred within three weeks among uh, residents of particular neighborhood. And it is usually uh, from, ranging from zero to one case per year. So this is clearly it is matching the epidemic uh, definition. Uh, epidemic definition uh, meaning uh, we have excess cases above the uh, expected level the expected level ranging from 0 to 1 per year so we have here excess uh, level 22 uh, cases so this is matching epidemic uh, definition uh, the other example we have average uh, annual incidence uh, was uh, 364 cases of pulmonary tuberculosis per 100,000 uh, population in one area compared with the national average was uh, 134 cases per 1,000 uh, uh, population. So uh, the national average uh, it was uh, 134 which is the uh, endemic level of the cases and we have here a trouble cases uh, that mean matching uh, the hyper endemic definition we have 364 so this in the second example it matching the uh, hyper endemic uh, uh, level uh, definition uh, the third one we have over 20 million people worldwide died from the influenza so uh, this is uh, clearly matching the uh, pandemic uh, level of disease occurrence which mean uh, uh, spreading over uh, several country and affecting a large number uh, of people. Uh, the fourth one, uh, we have single case of histoplasmosis was diagnosed in community. So uh, it is uh, matching the uh, sporadic level of disease occurrence. We have a single case uh, of histoplasmosis in uh, a defined community. Uh, the last one, we have about 60 cases of gonorrhea are usually reported uh, in one region per week, slightly less than uh, the national average. So uh, if it is uh, become with the national or the expected level and this is uh, persistence happening uh, every week, so it is match the uh, endemic level of disease occurrence. So what is uh, the health uh, care associated infection, HAI? It is uh, the infection uh, 
that occur in a patient as a result of care at healthcare facility that was not present at the time of admission uh, to the facility uh, to be uh, considered uh, uh, this is a health acquired uh, uh, health care associated infection the infection must be diagnosed after the patient spent more than two calendar day in the healthcare facility so it is uh, very important to distinguish between present on admission uh, infection and the healthcare associated infection present uh, on admission infection usually uh, define when the date of event of the, that infection happened uh, two days before the admission or even in the first two days of admission to the healthcare facility while the healthcare uh, associated infection as we mentioned uh, it happened after uh, the patient spending more than two calendar days that means uh, it happened on the uh, third day of hospital admission and after Uh, what are the outbreak uh, definition? The general definition for uh, the outbreak It is uh, disease occurrence in population above the normally uh, expected rate at any given time uh, or location For the healthcare associated uh, outbreak according to the uh, MOH guideline for outbreak uh, management It is an increase in the number of healthcare associated event even uh, infection or uh, colonization among patient or staff above the expected number uh, of cases this is uh, the uh, outbreak definition according to the MOH guideline and very important to know also uh, in some condition uh, there is emerging and re-emerging uh, disease or high risk uh, pathogen uh, if we have one case, uh, we can declare that it is an outbreak. For example, like the MERS cough, monkeypox, and uh, Ebola uh, virus. Uh, also, according to the uh, MOH outbreak management guideline, the outbreak defined as two or more cases caused by uh, the same microorganism that are epidemiologically linked to the uh, location, uh, linked to the exposure, and uh, linked uh, duration, epidemiologically linked duration. Uh, epidemiologically linked location, that means uh, the cases uh, sharing the same uh, location while uh, admitted in the healthcare facility or stop uh, in one unit area while receiving the treatment or receiving the care in the healthcare facility. Uh, epidemiologically linked uh, exposure uh, we have three uh, categories human to human exposure any person uh, who had uh, who has uh, had contact with a laboratory confirmed uh, human case uh, environmental exposure any person who has contact with a contaminated uh, environmental uh, source and exposure to a common source uh, any person who has uh, exposed to the same common source or vehicle uh, of the infection as a confirmed uh, human case. Uh, epidemiologically linked uh, duration, uh, very important to know that the duration is different according to the uh, type of microorganism and according to uh, the incubation period of different organism or uh, disease. Now we will talk about the step of the uh, initial investigation of an outbreak. Uh, it is uh, about 11 uh, steps uh, starting from recognizing a potential uh, outbreak, confirming the presence of an outbreak, uh, alert the key individual about the outbreak and performing literature review, establish a preliminary case definition, develop methodology for case finding, performing the descriptive epidemiology, uh, implementing the initial control measure, identifying potential implicated health practice and the environmental sampling, and finally communicating the information about uh, the outbreak. And we will, inshallah, uh, explain uh, each step of this 11 step. So the, the first step of outbreak uh, investigation recognize uh, potential outbreak التعرف على احتمالية وجود uh, 
الاوت بريك او التفشي a potential outbreak may be identified by the laboratory report while reviewing the laboratory report you will see if there is increased number of isolate from specific location or unit or within specific time period also the potential outbreak can be identified from the surveillance system either from the infection control uh, surveillance system or from the communicable disease uh, system uh, also from the frontline healthcare worker like the uh, nurses or physician that providing care uh, for the patient uh, very important to know that uh, many outbreaks are first uh, identified by uh, the frontline uh, healthcare worker so as infection control uh, we should uh, keep in contact and keep active communication with the uh, frontline healthcare worker if there is increased infection by some organism increased uh, death caused by uh, some type of infection or some disease uh, if there is uh, uh, unusual happening of some infection by rare organism and so on uh, there is advanced laboratory technology uh, can be used in outbreak identification like the whole genome sequencing and pulsed field uh, gel electrophoresis uh, this uh, advanced uh, technology provide uh, identification of the bacterial typing and identification of the epidemiologically linked between bacterial uh, isolate and very important to know that uh, uh, the presence of this advanced technology is not necessary to uh, diagnosing uh, the outbreak it is helped to uh, tracking uh, the outbreak and uh, identifying the epidemiological link between the bacterial isolate but it is uh, very important to know that many outbreak is identified in hospital uh, that not having uh, this advanced uh, technology after recognize the potential uh, outbreak the second step uh, it is the confirming the presence of uh, the outbreak uh, simply by comparing the observed or uh, the current number of cases with the expected uh, level or the expected number uh, of cases for the same uh, location and uh, period uh, there is uh, uh, sources, different sources for uh, calculating the expected rate or knowing the expected number uh, of cases to uh, confirm the presence of an outbreak. We have the laboratory report. When you review the uh, laboratory report for some pathogen like the Klebsiella pneumonia pseudomonas aeruginosa, uh, local hospital discharge record or the local uh, mortality statistic for hospitalized infection also uh, we have uh, the ministry uh, of health surveillance report for multiple disease all of these sources can be used to uh, identify the expected number uh, of cases if local data are not uh, uh, available uh, you can also survey the physician or uh, the healthcare worker uh, if there is uh, increased number of cases above uh, the usual situation uh, so do outbreak uh, it is uh, generally applied to situation uh, if there is a rise in the positive laboratory finding uh, there is increased uh, positive laboratory uh, result without uh, a similar increase in the uh, clinical cases this uh, we call it uh, a pseudo outbreak there is uh, uh, more factor can lead to uh, the presence of pseudo uh, outbreak factor related to change in the surveillance system factor related to the uh, laboratory uh, uh, introducing a new test for uh, in the lab uh, contamination maybe uh, in the sample taken or in the uh, laboratory uh, machine all of this can lead to uh, increase of the laboratory uh, result and not matching 
the uh, increase in the uh, clinical cases. In this situation, we call it a pseudo uh, outbreak. The third step uh, is alerting the key individual. Uh, the key individual involves uh, the supervisors and hospital leadership, like the hospital director, hospital medical director, uh, supervisor of the department, uh, microbiology department, and healthcare worker uh, in the affected area. All of this uh, key individual, it is very important to alert them and keep in contact with them. Uh, remember, uh, uh, alerting key individual in the hospital are essential to control uh, the hospital uh, outbreak. Uh, many support you need uh, while uh, the outbreak uh, happening in your facility. You need the support from uh, the leadership uh, inside the hospital. You need the support from uh, the healthcare worker from the uh, other department also uh, to have uh, information. Uh, more information and uh, more cooperation from uh, the department. Also, you need the support from uh, the hospital uh, leadership to implement the infection control uh, measure or taking infection control decision. So, alerting key individual, it is uh, essential to control the hospital outbreak. The fourth step is performing uh, a literature review. Uh, it is a very important uh, step. Literature review help answering you uh, a question about the uh, outbreak that you have, especially uh, if you have uh, outbreak caused by uh, a rare pathogen, to go to the literature and read uh, more about it, to read, uh, uh, to know uh, how is this outbreak happen, uh, what are uh, the source of this uh, pathogen, what are uh, the risk factor for this uh, disease. All of this question, can you uh, take the information by reading the literature review uh, about this uh, outbreak? Uh, also from uh, the literature, uh, it can guide you uh, uh, to know what are the strategy or the measure that can uh, stop uh, the outbreak by uh, looking for uh, other experience uh, from other uh, area, how they uh, stop the outbreak, what are the uh, measures that they take in to uh, stop and control uh, the outbreak. Step number five, establish a preliminary uh, case definition. Develop a case definition uh, which may include uh, person, time, place, uh, agent, and uh, symptoms. Person uh, that mean uh, description of the affected uh, individual, uh, the time uh, time frame for when the illness uh, occurred, also defining the place, uh, geographic uh, geographic uh, location uh, for this uh, definition, also uh, the agent, uh, the defining the pathogen uh, or uh, toxin that you are looking uh, for. Uh, uh, and uh, including also uh, the typical symptoms for that uh, pathogen uh, or toxin. Here is, it is an uh, example of uh, a case defining a case uh, definition uh, for uh, E. coli. We define the uh, pathogen as uh, E. coli with the serotype, uh, symptoms acute uh, gastrointestinal tract illness or uh, three or more loads stole in 24 hours uh, period. We define also the person, children uh, under five uh, years old. Also, you can define the person by uh, the gender, male or female, occupation, healthcare worker, uh, exclusion criteria. If you have, uh, for example, person with uh, chronic uh, diarrhea, you can exclude it by the uh, case definition. Uh, defining also the place, the geographic location. Uh, I want uh, residents that are uh, in Ward B or uh, in the ICU, for example. Also defining the time frame uh, when you say uh, the onset of illness on or after uh, the 1st of January 22, 2020. Uh, it is very important also to distinguish between 
the primary and secondary uh, cases. Uh, the primary cases define as the cases that are uh, exposed directly to the uh, outbreak source, while uh, the secondary cases, it is the cases that are exposed to uh, primary uh, cases. Uh, for example, if you have uh, one case that are exposed to a camel uh, in the uh, community uh, and infected with uh, a mare's cup, uh, when admitted to the hospital, uh, they uh, infect uh, other cases and the other cases we uh, call it uh, secondary cases. Uh, the ideal case definition uh, it is uh, the one that are uh, more sensitive and uh, more specific. Uh, more sensitive, that means uh, they identify the person who have the disease, a true positive. Uh, more specific, that means uh, identify uh, the one that not having the disease, that means a true uh, negative. Uh, let's take uh, chicken box uh, as example. Uh, when you set your uh, case definition and saying that uh, I want uh, the cases with a generalized skin rash of acute uh, illness, uh, you will catch all the cases that have uh, skin rash. Uh, you increase uh, the case uh, finding, but uh, you may catch uh, the other cases with uh, a skin rash that are caused by other uh, organisms like the uh, measles or uh, uh, rubella uh, cases, you will catch it by this case uh, definition. But if you put it more specific, like uh, when you say, uh, I want the cases with a generalized uh, skin rash of acute illness that are testing uh, positive uh, BCR for uh, the Faracilla zister uh, viruses, you will uh, make your uh, case definition uh, a more specific uh, and you will uh, truly identifying uh, the uh, negative cases. Uh, generally, there are no rule how your uh, case definition uh, is more specific and more uh, sensitive, uh, but uh, remember at the start of an outbreak, uh, use a broad uh, case definition, more sensitive uh, case definition and then uh, narrow the case definition down, uh, make it more specific at a later date when more information uh, is uh, available from the clinical or from the laboratory department. Step number six, develop method for case finding. Uh, you must have a plan for uh, searching for the cases using the case definition that you uh, set for uh, the uh, outbreak or for uh, the disease to identify the new or additional uh, case in, cases uh, of an infection or disease. Uh, you will look uh, both backward and forward uh, in the time frame. Uh, you will also looking for the sign of symptoms of the infection or the positive laboratory result uh, from the case definition. Uh, you will use a simple uh, data collection form which called the light list is usually developed to collect uh, the information about the uh, cases uh, and uh, the uh, outbreak. The light list uh, data will be used uh, later on in plotting the uh, epidemic uh, care. We have uh, a different sources for uh, case finding. Uh, for example, medical chart and the microbiology report, uh, the pharmacy report and logbook from the affected area. All of this record could be reviewed for uh, and checked for the case uh, finding. Surveillance culture and uh, screening for high-risk uh, group also uh, one method of the case finding. Uh, reviewing the regular surveillance report uh, uh, periodically, uh, it is helping in identifying uh, the cases uh, and uh, uh, finding the cases. Local clinical uh, laboratory professional uh, also to report the cases uh, about a particular illness. And finally, uh, reviewing uh, the uh, other record like the emergency room 
record or uh, similar illnesses. Uh, data variable uh, to be uh, collected uh, for case finding, including the identifying uh, information, uh, patient name, uh, demographic uh, information about the patient, uh, the location uh, of the uh, cases, clinical uh, data, clinical sign and symptoms, uh, the outcome uh, information, any risk factor uh, information can help uh, for the case finding. Also, you can include uh, a more variable uh, according to the uh, literature review, also reviewing uh, and include it uh, for the case finding. Step number seven, perform descriptive uh, epidemiology. That means characterizing the outbreak by time uh, and place and person uh, using uh, the epidemic curve and calculating the attack rate. Uh, the epidemic curve, uh, it plot the cases uh, of the outbreak based on the time uh, of onset of the illness. Uh, it is uh, drawing uh, the uh, or it is done by drawing a histogram uh, of the number of cases on the y-axis while uh, the date of onset will be on the uh, x-axis. Uh, the advantage of the epidemic curve also uh, can identify the exact period of the outbreak. You can identify uh, the period of outbreak uh, from the first case and the uh, last case of the outbreak. can identify also uh, the probable period of the uh, exposure uh, can determine the epidemic uh, pattern either uh, common source or propagated or uh, both uh, and also when combined with other information uh, gathered uh, during the uh, investigation it can help to identify also uh, the possible uh, exposure uh, uh, at the end of the uh, uh, this step, performing descriptive epidemiology, uh, you can formulate the hypothesis on the type uh, of the infection. You can tentatively uh, identify the source or the route of the uh, infection and suggest uh, and implement the initial control measure. Step number eight, implement initial control uh, measure. Uh, implementing the infection control measure without uh, delay immediately. Uh, it including uh, the cleaning and disinfection uh, activity, the isolation of patient uh, staff or visitor, and uh, initiate the contact tracing uh, as appropriate. Uh, control measures that are required uh, according to the uh, transmission type of the microorganism. Uh, also, uh, it includes determining uh, the patient or staff that are uh, at higher risk uh, to become ill uh, by activating uh, the antimicrobial uh, uh, agent or antimicrobial prophylaxis uh, by active or passive uh, immunization for this uh, risk group. Also, it including the education and training uh, activity for the healthcare worker about the infection control uh, precaution. Uh, also, you can deep, uh, you can go uh, to more strong uh, uh, measure like closer of the department or closer uh, of the uh, healthcare facility if necessary, and after the assessment of the situation. Step number nine: identify potentially implicated health practices. Uh, that means creating uh, hypothesis. Uh, as you know, uh, an outbreak can be stopped by identifying and interrupting the chain uh, of the transmission uh, for uh, the microorganism. Uh, information from uh, the literature review, as we mentioned, it's very uh, important on the type of the pathogen and the uh, infection and reviewing the cases uh, in the line list uh, this all uh, it can help to identify which health practice uh, you will focus uh, on. Uh, discussing also uh, with the uh, caregiver, with the healthcare worker, uh, about the outbreak and uh, the possible causes uh, is uh, also uh, essential uh, 
part while identifying the implicated health practice. Uh, investigation are more productive if the investigator uh, are seen as a partner, uh, partner uh, with the other staff rather than uh, blaming uh, the other staff. Also, uh, one of the recommendation that the observation should be uh, first done uh, without a detailed data collection uh, form because uh, the detailed collection form will lose the time while, uh, while filling uh, this form. So you need the time to uh, observe uh, the practice to identify uh, the implicated uh, health practice that may be the cause or uh, that leading to the uh, outbreak. Also, uh, it is very important also to uh, observe the general infection control practice such as uh, the hand hygiene, the standard precaution, uh, while uh, looking for the implicated health practice. Uh, step number 10, consider environmental sampling. Uh, environmental sampling should not be done uh, as a routine during the outbreak. It is done only if there is uh, a strong epidemiological uh, evidence uh, that the reservoir or the source of the organism is existing. Why? Uh, because uh, it is costly and lack of uh, standard for interpretation of the uh, data and high possibility of the inconclusive result uh, by the environmental uh, sampling. Also, uh, in some hospital, uh, maybe the environmental sampling may not be uh, possible due to uh, uh, the lack of lab capacity or supply to conducting uh, this action. So uh, we can say the isolation of organism from environment rarely explain uh, the outbreak. On the other hand, if the environmental sampling uh, indicated and possible and the result become positive and matching the pathogen that causing uh, the outbreak, this can be uh, very satisfying. Uh, also, uh, it is very important uh, uh, if you have uh, a negative uh, result, you cannot uh, rule out uh, the uh, environment because uh, the pathogen uh, may be uh, removed by cleaning and disinfection activity. Maybe uh, there is an adequate collection or culture uh, technique while obtaining uh, the sample or maybe the sample uh, that was taken uh, from the uh, wrong place. Uh, so uh, please take all this point in consideration when you uh, decide to go uh, with this action. Uh, here is uh, some uh, recommendation that can improve the environmental uh, sampling. Uh, perform the environmental sampling uh, after making the line list and doing uh, the observation so that uh, you can focus on the item that is most likely uh, to be uh, implicated in this uh, outbreak. Uh, the environmental sampling, as we mentioned, should not be uh, the first step in the outbreak uh, investigation. Uh, before uh, obtaining the environmental sampling, please make sure about the ability of the microbiology department in your hospital to uh, conduct the environmental sampling. Uh, also, uh, culture only the items that are the possible vector uh, of transmission and culture the items that are most likely the reservoir for the organism. For example, uh, outbreaks of pseudomonas should focus on liquid item, while outbreak of acinetobacter will focus on the uh, surfaces and so on. Step number 11, communicating information uh, about the outbreak uh, should be start communication early and clearly uh, using a uh, simple and easy uh, language while communicating uh, the information notifying uh, the MOH as per uh, recommendation and local uh, regulation uh, in the country uh, keep the staff and the patient uh, and the visitor informed and uh, assured by uh, the communication using of the uh, flagging system and uh, alarming 
to alert the uh, healthcare uh, worker about the cases to take the appropriate uh, infection control uh, precaution while dealing with uh, the cases. Uh, a communication also between the healthcare facility uh, in case of uh, transfer to uh, enable the receiving facility to take the appropriate uh, precaution while receiving uh, the case. Uh, also, the inter-facility communication uh, between uh, the department to provide uh, and exchange the information that can help to uh, control the outbreaks. Writing uh, preliminary and final uh, outbreak report, the report must summarize, uh, complete the investigation step, uh, what you learn from this outbreak, lesson learned, and recommendation that are prevent uh, the uh, outbreak in the future. Uh, the report must be uh, sent to the uh, senior management and other appropriate uh, person or authorities for action and for uh, follow-up. Uh, when uh, to declare that the outbreak uh, is over, uh, it depending on the nature of the outbreak, that means depending on the type uh, of microorganism, for all healthcare associated outbreak, we can declare that the outbreak uh, is over uh, if there is no new cases uh, epidemiologically linked to the uh, relative outbreak uh, within uh, 14 days uh, or two weeks from the last outbreak uh, cases. And this declaration, declaration uh, of the outbreak must be uh, in coordinating with the uh, General Directorate of Infection Prevention uh, and Control and there is uh, a specific condition for a specific microorganism to declare that uh, the outbreak is over like the uh, Ebola uh, outbreak. Uh, if there is no confirmed or prob probable uh, Ebola uh, cases are detected for a period of uh, 42 uh, days since the death or uh, recovery of the last confirmed case. Uh, for the mers cov outbreak, no confirmed mers cov uh, cases are detected uh, for a period of 28 days since the death or recovery of the last uh, conf confirmed uh, case. Uh, cholera, uh, for example, no new cases uh, reported for uh, seven weeks. For meningitis, uh, if the weekly number of reported cases uh, below the epidemic and uh, the alert threshold for at least eight weeks. Now we will talk about step of follow-up uh, investigation of an outbreak, refining the case definition, continue uh, the case finding, and reviewing regularly the control measure, and finally consider if analytical uh, study should be performed. Uh, refine the case definition. Uh, as we mentioned before, in the early stage of an outbreak, uh, the main aim is to detect uh, many cases as much as possible. So uh, uh, you will go with a more sensitive uh, case definition. Uh, but uh, when the outbreak evolves and more information uh, become uh, available, the case definition can be refined to more specific uh, according to the uh, available uh, laboratory and uh, clinical uh, information. Also, the using of subtyping uh, methodology to differentiate the strain or the subtype uh, of the pathogen, it can enable more precise and efficient outbreak uh, detection and source tracking of the outbreak. Finally, uh, it is important to know the changing of the case definition. It can have a considerable impact on the data that has been collected and the interpretation of this data. Continue the case finding and surveillance uh, process. The case finding and surveillance uh, should be continued throughout the outbreak investigation period. The method of case finding and surveillance will vary uh, for each outbreak and may consist of one or all of the following, uh, such as the prevalence screening, admission screening, discharge screening, uh, retrospective or prospective uh, surveillance. 
step number three review control measure regularly uh, all the intervention uh, implemented during the investigation should be reviewed for necessity and monitored for uh, compliance uh, so that any intervention that are uh, difficult to maintain or are labor or resource intensive should be reviewed uh, to, de to determine or to decide when this intervention uh, can be uh, discontinued. Uh, that means uh, not all the intervention can be withstand by uh, the healthcare uh, facility, so uh, frequent and periodic uh, review for this intervention to decide to keep or decide to discontinue is very important. The last step, consider if analytical study should be uh, performed. Uh, very important to know that analytical study uh, is used to test the hypothesis, not generating uh, the hypothesis. So, uh, generating the hypothesis before designing uh, the study design will help uh, you to clarify your study objective and ask better uh, question to determine uh, which exposure or risk factor that are most likely responsible for the infection or uh, the outbreak. The most common analytical study uh, in infection control it is, it is uh, a case control and cohort study design. In more uh, significant outbreak, a case control uh, method may be the most efficient way of testing the hypothesis uh, or uh, if a single hospital uh, ward is affected, a retrospective cohort study should be uh, done. Please, if you uh, want more information about the analytical study, refer to the analytical study part in the MOH Outbreak Management Guideline. Thank you so much for listening and see you again, inshallah, in the upcoming lecture.